127 days until the next Bitcoin halving cycle. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'm back with another one. In today's video, we're going to be going over some profit taking strategies, at least my thoughts and my opinions. You guys let me know your strategies in the comments. And we're also going to talk about the CPI news, how it could possibly affect the cryptocurrency market so if you like videos like this make sure that you like subscribe hit that notification bell keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur inside the algorithms let me know if you feel this cpi data is bearish or bullish i'd love to know you guys uh comments and also consider the links in the description uh, we talked about a lot in the patreon and also the discord all right so let's get into this 127 the countdown continues it's two for tuesday double up day and we did get the u.s inflation hitting 3.1 percent in december so it came down 0.1 percent away from the expectations i want to go over this um x thread here by butt hill Vias. make sure y'all go follow i'll set the example very very good thread but let's go over why all of this makes sense for crypto so December CPI was 0.1 percent um, seasonally adjusted under the expectation. So that's 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 a good thing. Right. But what does this mean for the market? This could lead to the Fed slowing down interest rates, giving the economy a much needed boost. Lower inflation could increase consumer spending power, potentially boosting the economy further. So this is bullish for savings accounts. This is bullish for people looking to get loans, houses, cars. Right. The lower the inflation goes, the more easier it is to make money. Now, technically, we're not at 2% of the goal, so we could see j Powell be a little bit hawkish. But again, this is a, a positive sign, right? A, a good sign um, headed in the right direction that inflation continues to tick lower. But hold on. The BLS revised its previous estimate showing prices did increase slightly in December. So there were sectors where prices did increase, apparel commodities vehicles and energy let me know wherever you're staying at if you've seen an uptick in gas prices right this let me know and and i, I ask these questions because i like to kind of like check the sentiment do you feel like things have went down do you feel like prices have went down i want to know everybody's opinion in the comments but we are st seeing certain sectors continue to uptick and prices i would imagine that at some point we will see a real estate crash and maybe more unemployment as the fed needs to break something um in order for us to finally get those fed cuts but we need to understand the goal at hand is two percent it's really nothing hype to, to get hype about it unless we're at two percent all right so you know pump your brakes that's why we're going to talk about profit strategies in profit taking strategies in this video what's next the Fed will closely monitor inflation data in the coming months. Expect more interest rates if inflation sold signs are picking up again. You can see right now, family, uh, we're looking at a 98% chance at a pause. If we head to January, uh, righty, um, as you can see right here, 94% chance of a pause. But nothing until March where we finally could possibly see a cut uh People are starting to price in 43% uh, chance of a cut. We don't have a meeting in April, but then May is is where the magic could possibly be made with a 50% uh, um, percentage of a price cut. So again, um, rate cut, should I say. So again, we, we're not out the woods yet, right? A lot of people are acting very absurd in the cryptocurrency space chasing green candles i think this is the time where you want to be patient i went over the charts in a video yesterday i specifically uh broke down the history of how the total altcoin chart uh, reacts um headed into the halving cycle so make sure you guys go check out that video i put it in the right or the left hand side after the video man jam pack with alpha please go check out that video because it really bring you down to earth of why you should just stay subtle, you know what I mean, without getting too excited or too depressed in the cryptocurrency um, market and why it's so important to take profits off the table where you don't have to have that pressure, right? You can just look, you know, leave your uh, portfolio and come back in a couple months and seeing how much it grows. But when you have that, that pressure on you, you're constantly checking and that just tells me that you may be over leveraged in the cryptocurrency market and we'll get into that. So again, back, back over here, um crypto initially surged on the back of the positive news however prices dipped later as investors digested the revised data so a lot of people are starting to figure out hey we're not f you bullish just 
yet. And if you can go, you can go across the charts. I mean, Bitcoin, um, Ethereum charts, everything's overbought on the weekly. We finally are getting the blue line crossing over the overline, and we could get this uh, correction. Ethereum could fall to about 1900, right? 1900, right around, right under 2000. And if we go here to Bitcoin, Bitcoin can fall somewhere between 38. 38 and 39 if we continue to lose strength it's kind of evident that we're losing strength but this correction is healthy because it will give people an opportunity on the sidelines to get in i think this is the correction where it pushes bitcoin higher to the yearly highs maybe 48k 50k before we see that massive 30 percent correction so just keep that in mind family um again even though i'm a dj at heart I really, really uh, more so want to protect the community and really push how important it is if you don't have high conviction on these projects to actually take profits. And speaking of take, taking profits, let's get into some of the strategies. Before we get into the strategies, I want to touch bases on some of the things that we should be looking forward to. Bullish or bearish. So ETF could either get approved or denied. Keep that in mind. Fed cut. We could either get more federal rate hikes or a Fed cut. So it's 50-50. The only thing 100% right now is the halving cycle. We know that's going to happen. And we don't know how the election cycle will go. But as we've seen from Argentina and many other countries, a lot of the you know politics uh, are pro-cryptocurrency, right? This is 50-50 split. We're starting to see some politics uh, uh, be pro-cryptocurrency, right? So, and then we had... Uh, Oh, oh, Warren come with the, the crypto bill. So it's really, really split right now, whether to be F you bullish or just kind of like maybe we're still in the macro. Maybe we're still bearish. But I want to talk about taking profits. Right. I think this is something that a lot of YouTubers don't talk about in their videos. I want I could have made this into two videos, but I figure since I kind of pressed for time today, I'll put it all into one video. So hopefully you guys still here. If you're still here, make sure that you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. So um, this is just an example. Right. Uh, I, I think most people. And I'm going to say most people, but let's say you got ten thousand dollars in savings. I want to make this as normal for 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 regular people right i know some people are just you just wealthy you just rich i get it salute to you everybody is not there yet so if this is if this if this doesn't apply for you let it fly right this is a video that's made for everybody whether you're um super wealthy or whether you're just working to get wealthy or whether you're just you know regular person every regular person like me so again let's say you got let's just give an average right ten thousand dollars in savings right ten thousand dollars you got ten you got you got ten grand to your name right ten grand all right but you've been buying cryptocurrency um for the last two years right and and, and we've seen this a massive move from ai coins meme coins gaming coins and right now you got ten thousand dollars in memes because we know memes pump the hardest right ten thousand dollars in memes and and maybe some gaming gaming coins and then you got five grand in your foundational tokens the, the blue chips you know the ones that uh that you plan on holding long term and you have high conviction so just say the ten thousand you got in a whole bunch of crap coins uh gaming tokens you really don't think the games is that good but you just came up because of the rally because of the hype behind the narrative right so now you're like, oh, well, what should I do, right? You're at a point where your crypto net worth is outweighing your net worth in real life. You got 15 grand in crypto. You got about 10 grand in your savings. You need to make a decision. So this is how I would approach that, right? Um, everybody's opinion is different. You can leave your opinion in a comment. So taking profit strategy, step one, right? I would take 75% out of those memes and games and ai just the coins that you don't have high conviction on right to take 75 percent off the table right which would leave you about what uh 25 wait maybe 2500 right somewhere around there yeah 2500 and then you take 25 percent right 25 percent um out of the uh you take 25 percent out of the high conviction right so you, you're taking 25 percent out of the the high conviction if you um which is about 1200 Twelve hundred bucks, right? So you take twenty five out of there, that gives you twelve hundred bucks. So you do the math, and I actually did did the math here wrong. So let's just say you take let me let me take uh five hundred from that, right? Um, 
it's supposed to be 87.50. Okay, d d don't mind my math, right? So anyway, for the sake of the video, because I already put this together, we're just going to go with the profit that you have is $8,250, right? It's supposed to be $8,750, but we're just going to go uh, with $8,250, right? Um, that's, that's your profit right now. Well, you got to understand that the taxes, right? You got to understand things from a taxes standpoint. So 30%, don't know where you're at with this is going to a round off 30% has to go to taxes, right? Crypto taxes, right? So that's $2,475 of the 8,000, right? Your realized profit here so far is $5,775. Okay. So, you know what I mean? You, you take that 8,000, right? You, you took your profits, right? You take that 8,000, maybe you roll the 5,000 into stable coins or you put it in your savings account, however you want to do it. And you tuck, you create maybe create a wallet or or create an account where you can just put away your money for taxes, right? That thirty percent you put this away from your taxes, right? What this allows you to do is this allows you to remove yourself from selling pressure because if your if you if your crypto net worth is outweighing your net worth in real life, then you're constantly going to find yourself checking your portfolio because you probably never had this type of money in your life anyway and you, you're looking at it like it's going up and you it, but now people are talking about crypto is about to crash so you got to make a decision right but this decision still gives you an opportunity to have you know a good amount in crypto you still got 2500 left in memes right you still got um uh 3700 left in your high conviction plays right so you still got about six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars in cryptocurrency so to put that into perspective if your cryptocurrency right um wallet just from here if you add nothing else 100x that's still six hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in the meantime your realized profit before savings right this is before savings is now eight Eighteen thousand, and it should be seven hundred and fifty. But for the sake of the video, eighteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Right? You took that eight thousand, and maybe you put it in the savings account with the ten thousand. You know, you got to take thirty percent of that and tuck it away for your taxes, right? But now you you got eight thousand, you got eighteen thousand dollars to your name, right? And you got about six thousand dollars in cryptocurrency. It kind of makes more sense because. If you got an if emergency happened, right, your car break down, you get something happen in a family, family emergency, you don't have to just rush and sell your cryptocurrency. You already put yourself in a position, being that you took profits out of phase one of the bull run. So the the the, fa the, the bull run works in three phases, right? Um, I always recommend Crypto University's channel. Very, very good channel. Gives you a great understanding of how these cycles work. I haven't been here since 2004, right? When... <laughs> 2004 right when 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 you know 2008 when satoshi first admitted bitcoin i wasn't here so you know i listened to some of the guys that were here right and then i kind of break it down into my own um information that way i can understand but yesterday we went over that that others chart where it, the cycles just eerily are the same so i rather go off things based off history opposed to thinking it's different because again we don't know all right. We don't know if the ETF will get approved. It's 90 percent. We don't know. We don't know when we get a Fed cut. They're talking. We don't know. And we don't know if the next president is going to be bullish on Bitcoin. We don't know. And this is why you got to take profits, because you never know when the devs are thinking the same thing you thinking. Right. And this is how if you don't get profits, you get rugged right so again i'm just breaking it down from a real perspective hopefully you guys can appreciate that um you can do what you want to do this is not financial advice this is just how i view things and again even at the end of the day you got you, yourself in a position where your net worth is still more than what you got in crypto i don't believe in just going all in ape and just everything in the cryptocurrency i'm seeing people move wild move wild and the biggest way to become the biggest way to become successful in my opinion in crypto is perseverance right having stable coins prepared if there is a new coin if there is a new narrative but if you tap out right you tap out because you buy in every dip and you don't understand that we have yet to have a 30 percent dip so it's good to have those stables and you know money on the side those drop that dry pile on the side ready to 
deploying the market. You can see here, even huge YouTubers are saying the same thing. Um, I'm removing coins from my portfolio and adding coins that will make much bigger returns. This is Rand. I didn't even, I made the video yesterday. I updated my uh, Patreon this morning before any of this came out because I already was watching people be irrational in cryptocurrency. And, and what's the funny part is it seems like no one's learned anything in the bear market. Nobody's learned anything from the last bull run. People continue to just run into the same wall, run into the same wall. Crypto is the wild, wild west. The devs don't care, right? We, we appreciate the community, but we got to understand what we are working with, right? So again, headed into phase two, right? This is this is, this is the most important part. Headed into phase two of the, uh, the crypto cycle. All of this right here will be phase two of the bull run, right? Um, let's see here. Get an arrow. Okay, the arrow doesn't want to work. Annoying. Ooh, 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 ooh. Trading view has got to be the annoying site. Who created these crypto sites, bro? They are ass. God, Lee. It's no way your API should be acting like that. All right, so let's go back up here. Um, all of this right here is going to be phase two of what we should see before we see the massive, right, altcoin rally. So this is what we are prepared for now. What are you doing now, Millie? Now that we got are, are entering out of phase one, we're entering the phase two. What are we doing now? So how I look at it, is I will use this opportunity to scale my portfolio in the strongest cryptocurrencies available, okay? It's, this is not the time to be a degen. We was in degen in phase one. We got what we needed to get. Now it's time to really make it count, really make it count with our portfolio. So this phase is the most important phase in my opinion. You use, it's like, you you know, if, you, if you're if a hustler, you got to understand it. We use phase one, right? We use phase one to get that capital to invest into the best of the best in phase two. Why will we be investing in the best in the phase two? Because what phase two will expose is who is going to be the winners in the next bull cycle. Outside of the new cryptocurrencies that will be minted here, you know, they're going to be new ones. So that, that stable coin is going to be ready for some new. But here. What we'll see is which coins are the strongest. As we dip into this halving cycle, as we prepare to go sideways and for altcoins to dump 30%, for Bitcoin to dump 30%, if it dumps 30%, because we don't know, but history says it will. We will use this time of phase two to, to find the most strongest coins against Bitcoin. You're seeing it from injection. You're seeing it from AVAX. So this could be the time when projects like AVAX injection waiting waiting for them to dip waiting for the the strongest cryptocurrency projects to dip so when we get to phase three right when we get to phase three here when we get to phase three here right we're going to have the strongest coins in the market and we're going to have stable coins prepared for any new narratives and any new coins right so um i don't want to to say this time is just exactly the time, but you got to get a gist of what I'm saying. Um, Y'all let me know what y'all strategy is. Again, I do apologize for the numbers being a little off. I did my, my math a little bit off a little earlier, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. Again, for the sake of the video, because I know the NPC, it's supposed to be 87. I, I get it. We're, we're, we're using 82, okay? And everything from 82 adds up. So y'all let me know what y'all think about uh, the strategy, right? Um, Let me know your strategy. What are you doing? Are you putting away your uh, crypto taxes from those profits? I'd love to know everybody's opinion, man. We got 127 days into the next Bitcoin halving cycle. Tap in, lock in, comment. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.